to have been. Okay, I don't disagree. The math disagrees. They've promised they're going to build, so they promised they're going to double home building. Their own housing agency said since they made that promise, home building has gone down. And that it will go down next year and the year after that. Look at my exchange with Trudeau in the House of Commons this week, last week. To get to 3.9 million, forget 5.9 million, to get to 3.9 million new homes by the scheduled deadline of 2031 that Trudeau promised, he needs to build 550,000 homes a year. I asked him six times in the House of Commons, are we going to build 550,000 homes this year? He wouldn't answer. Well, the truth is he's on track right now to building about 200,000 homes, not even half of what he's promised. It's not a matter of me disagreeing. It's a mathematical fact. He's not delivering. It's a mathematical fact that nine years ago when I was housing minister, the average rent for a one bedroom was $973. Now it's 2000, right? These are the facts. So you can, has he spent a lot of money on housing programs? Yes. He spent $89 billion on housing affordability and the result is that housing costs have doubled. The problem is he's putting the money into bureaucracy. Government bureaucrats don't build homes. Private sector builders do. Government bureaucrats are in the way. So we need to get the government bureaucracy out of the way and deliver fast, affordable permits to build the homes. One third of the cost of every newly built home in Ontario is government permits and taxes. One third. That's more than we spend on the labor to build the home. So we're spending more on the bureaucrats who don't build anything than we do on the carpenters, framers, plumbers, and electricians who build. Isn't that insane? Like when you buy a house, do you not find it incredible? You have this beautiful house and you say, well, where did the money, I'm buying the house for now it's a, say it's a million dollars. What does the million dollars go to? You know, you break it down, lumber, materials. You think more money goes to people sitting in government offices than goes to the people swinging the hammers, fitting the pipes, framing the, 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 the lumber. It doesn't make sense. We need to cut the bureaucracy and that's why my common sense plan will require cities free up land, speed up permits, cut development charges and fees as a condition of getting federal funds. If they don't hit my targets, they won't get their money and there'll be less of those bureaucrats in those corner offices.